Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about Turbonate Modules and JavaScript interface. Before talking about this topic, I want to mention that React Native arch rendering architecture will be replaced with React Native Fabric, which is a better rendering architecture. And the JavaScript interface and Turbo Native is part of that improvement, that change. So let's talk about the keywords first. So that way we will have a better understanding about what we are talking about. Uh, first of all, uh, we have React Native Bridge, which is the existing bridge, uh, communication bridge. JavaScript interface is the new uh, communication channel. Uh, CodeGen is the tooling that we will use, implement the communication channel. And uh, we have Turbo Native modules and C++ Turbo Native modules. Turbo Native modules is for invoking Java, Kotlin, and Objective-C code base from JavaScript engine. C++ Turbo Native module is a way to invoke the similar to Turbo Native modules, but the difference is we are invoking the same shared C++ code base, not Objective-C or Java Kotlin. Let's talk about JavaScript interface. So we, we mentioned that JavaScript interface is a replacement for the existing bridge, right? So how existing bridge is working? The existing bridge is when, when we do a request from your engine to native side, uh, uh, with the existing bridge, we are converting the request into JSON string, sending it and asynchronously getting the response again, JSON string. So as you can see, it is asynchronous and JSON string based. Uh, you can see it's a little bit, uh, you know, non-performant, right? So it needs optimization. So that's why we have JavaScript interface. JavaScript interface simply a layer uh, between JavaScript engine and the native to invoke native methods from JavaScript engine. By using JavaScript interface, we can invoke C++, Objective-C, Java, or Kotlin methods from JavaScript engine. Uh, when using JavaScript uh, interface, there is no JSON string parsing or encoding or decoding we are passing the actual data. So let's talk about CodeGen. CodeGen is a just based tool to create a glue code between your engine and the native side. So it is basically creating, uh, uh, generating the source code that we can use to actually create our own native code base. And together uh, we, we are creating that glue between JavaScript engine and native side. There is no magic about CodeGen. It is simple tool. It is, obviously it is a complex tool, but the work that CodeGen is doing simple. It is generating the glue code base. There is no magic. So let's talk about Turbo Native Modules. What is Turbo Native Modules? Turbo Native Modules is an architecture, a library architecture, that mainly used to invoke system-related APIs. Why system-related APIs? Because Turbo Native Module can invoke Objective-C and uh, Java or Kotlin, depending on the uh, architecture, obviously. For example, querying the device's Wi-Fi strength, right? It is a system-based API, and we have the ability to invoke this method from JavaScript engine side. On iOS, we are invoking Objective-C method, on Android side, we are invoking Java and, Java and Kotlin methods. This is the Turbo Native model. So let's talk about the Turbo Native architecture uh, in, you know, invoking mechanism on iOS side by using this schema. So as you can see, we have a uh, JavaScript engine, we have our Turbo Native modules, we have React Native libraries, and the iOS system APIs. Uh, obviously, React Native Integration Library is communicating. React is communicating with the React Native Integration Library over GSI, the same communication channel, obviously, right? So we are invoking our Turbo Native module over your interface, and Turbo Native module is invoking any system API from there. So as you can see, this is the communication that is happening. So on Android side, this is the Android side, we uh, we have a similar architecture, but oh, the difference is on Android as we have dual virtual machine. So uh, uh, this is the same. React is communicating, you know, React React Native code base is communicating with 
uh, native side over GSI. And our code base is communicating over GSI with Turbo Native module. And Turbo Native module is invoking Dalvik virtual machine to invoke the, the system APIs. It, didn't, uh, it is using Dalvik virtual machine to invoke something. So as you can see, we are uh, reaching Java and Kotlin code base here. Let's talk about C++ Turbo Native Model. C++ Turbo Native Model is mainly used for invoking complex and CPU-intensive operations that need the deterministic performance. And also the same C++ code base is uh, executed on iOS and Android side. This is different. Uh, this is one of the differences between Turbo Native Model and C++ Turbo Native Model. Why we need C++ Turbo Native Model? When we need a complex when we need to run a complex logic, highly CPU intensive and a deterministic performance, we, we can use C++. But uh, keep in mind, we can use your also, right? We can ex create a logic, complex logic on your side and execute it on the your side instead of using this mechanism. Uh, so when we really need a deterministic performance, we should use C++. We shouldn't use C++ for all seemingly complex logic. Maybe a logic is really running fast on your site and we are overkilling everything. We should be considerate about using C++ Turbo Native Model. So let's talk about C++ Turbo Native Model on iOS site. As you can see, we have Yosk Engine and a Native Integration Library, React Native Integration Library. This is the React Native site and this is our site. This is C++ Turbo Native Module site. As you can see, Yosk Engine is invoking C++ Turbo Native Module by using Yosk Interface. On Android site, uh, it is again similar. We have React Native here and we have our C++ Turbo Native Module here. As you can see, we are invoking C++ Turbo Native Module by using Yosk Interface and we are, invo we are invoking the same logic so as you can see they are same so this is the biggest difference between turbo native module and c++ turbo native module as you can see turbo native modules and your interface are really exciting in new features it is unlocking a lot of uh, great abilities uh, for us also we are getting rid of the json string based uh, communication channel and it is really exciting. I definitely suggest you to uh, try it and start using Turbo Native Modules and Android Interface in your project. In the upcoming video, I will be showing how to actually do the implementation by uh, using, you know, CodeGen and doing the implementation. And we will invoke something on the iOS and Android side by using Turbo Native Modules and uh, C++ Turbo Native Modules. Until the next video, have a good day.